The coronavirus spreads through droplets people make when they talk, cough or sneeze. The gene sequence study showed that the coronavirus targeted human cells with ACE2 receptors. This means the epithelial cells in the lungs and other organs are vulnerable to the coronavirus. The coronavirus has mutations in the spike proteins on its surface. The mutations to the receptor binding domains allow the virus to use ACE2 receptors as entry points for getting into the cell. The virus hijacks the cell and commandeers the structure inside the cell to make more copies of itself. The infected cell ribosomes are directed to create viral RNA and proteins. After that, the cell's Golgi apparatus puts the proteins and RNA together and coats them in protein, which creates new copies of the coronavirus. The biochemical distress of being hijacked by the virus eventually kills the cell, which causes damage to the infected tissue. At the same time, the body tries to fight off the infection by sending killer T cells. The killer cells search and destroy compromised cells. The immune system's attack on the infected part of the body leads to more tissue damage and inflammation. The coronavirus infection spreads down the respiratory system and may reach the alveoli at the bottom of the lungs. This fills the lungs with liquids and inflammatory materials. George Washington University Hospital reports that 20% of COVID-19 patients are symptomatic. A portion of these develop severe symptoms and become unable to breathe without using ventilators or other medical devices. 